It's John from 3D Printing World, and I'm back with these classical swords. I've been getting a lot of the same questions on how to print them, so I thought I'd make a quick video here to show you how to better set up your printer for better results. files for these collapsible swords are available on my Thingiverse page and um, some of them like this katana sword prints as one piece it um, prints vertically like this and so when you lift it off the bed it actually will expand and they catch based off an, an angle of each piece and then there's uh, other versions like this lightsaber here that actually prints in three page pieces so that you can change the color of the blade so it has a uh, cap that unscrews and uh, allows you to print just the blade and these pieces separately so you can print them uh, in different colors and as well there's a uh, there's also a base mold versions of the blade so with this this lightsaber here um, the blade was actually printed in base mode uh, so there's a file actually a file for each uh, for each segment so that you can print these separately in base mode uh, with this one I actually used a 0.8 nozzle uh, but you can also which I'm printing back here you can also print it with a 4 0.4 nozzle you just need to make sure that your line width is set at 0.8 uh, printing with a 0.8 nozzle is nice though because uh, you can actually uh, more than double your layer size or your layer heights uh, but whether you're printing them in base mode or you're printing them as one piece like this uh, each technique you can run into uh, certain problems so I thought I'd make this quick video to show you some of the tricks to get around these issues. So for each of the different swords, I have included a uh, test print. And what the test print is, is a series of three rings that allows you to verify that um, they're not fused together and that you're extruding the right thickness. So uh, the biggest issue people are going to have with these swords is uh, that the segments are fusing together or that the sword does not extend as far as it should. So this test, this print will allow you to um, test it and to calibrate your um, printer better to get better results. I've got a lot of questions uh, people have asked, you know, hey I printed out the test print but uh, they don't interlock, you know, what's wrong? Well. Uh, the test print isn't actually designed to interlock. Um, it uses the same taper as the swords do and you know the swords require five or six inches to actually lock. So these aren't really designed to lock. If you print these together and uh, they actually separate then that's a good print. Um, you can see here that this test print actually um, does not um, is fused together but um, not um, around the outside but only at the point of retraction. There are two things that can cause your print to fuse together. Uh, well there's actually more than two. Uh, first uh, there's probably th there's another one would be elephant's foot. So you want to make sure if your first layer is too low you're going to get some elephant's foot and that could cause the segments to uh, fuse together. Um, that's pretty easily overcome with the X-Acto knife. Um, but the things that you really want to be concerned about is one over extrusion. So each of these segments are designed to have roughly a half a millimeter between the different segments. And if you're over extruding or um, in other terms if your uh, your width of your blades is wider than it should be then um, you're going to reduce the amount of clearance between the blades and your um, sword's either going to fuse together or it's not going to extend as far as it should. The other issue that you can have, which I had on this test print because I made, the, made some changes so this uh, would happen, is that they could fuse together at the layer seams and that's exactly what this one did. Um, normally I don't use coast or wipe 
but um, I found that I had to turn it on for these blades, and I think that's because the segments are only two layer two um, widths wide, and so there's nowhere to have a retraction. So if you form any kind of bob or sit, then uh, the segments are going to want to stick together. So what coast is? Coast is the amount of distance before the retraction that your extruder stops extruding. And wipe is the distance after the point of retraction that your extruder um, continues to wipe to clear the nozzle. So um, if you have your coast set too high, then you're going to start having voids um, at your uh, layer seams. Uh, so if that starts happening, then you want to back that number down. Uh, so I, in this case, I turned I uh, I turned them off. But normally on my MK3, I'm still using Simply 3D. Uh, I hope to switch to uh, Persa Slicer soon. Uh, but I have coast set to 0.15 and wipe sent to three right now. And uh, when I turn that off, then uh, then they work just fine. Um, so if if your um, segments are separated then you've passed the first test. The next test is you want to measure the, the width or the thickness of the segments and they should measure um, 0.85 millimeters which is roughly 33 um, inch, 0.33 inches which is exactly what these measure. On, uh, um, I have calibrated the extruder for this printer, so I normally run uh, point or uh, point nine two uh, percent um, extrusion rate. Um, but for this one, uh, not only did I turn off coast and wipe, but I also uh, um, turned up my extrusion multiplier to one hundred percent. And uh, so the results of that would be a wider extrusion. If your blade is um, fused together or not extending as far as it should be, what you would adjust would be your extrusion uh, multiplier or, and I think in Cura it's called flow rate, you would adjust that to get a uh, thinner segment so that it would actually extrude farther or extend, the sword will extend farther. So those are the kind of tricks that you would do if you're printing the blade together as one piece. I have two test prints here. The one on the right is with my extruder multiplier calibrated. It's set to 0.92%. Uh, and the one on the left is with my extruder multiplier just set at 100. So if I measure the one on the right, you can see that it measures roughly 0 0.34, 0 0 0.35, 0 0.34, 0 0.34, 0 0.34 of an inch. It's supposed to measure 0 0.85 millimeters, which I think is 0 0.33 inches. Uh, so if I test the one on the left here, uh, with the extrusion multiplier set at 100%, you can see is here 0 0.37, 0 0.37, 0 0.36, 0 0.39, 0 0.39. So it's over extruding and keeping a wider width than it should. And as a result, your sword is not going to extend as far. Um, with your extrusion multiplier not set properly. Here's the uh, test print I did with uh, coast and wipe turned off on purpose and you can see that it's stuck together only uh, at the sections where it did the retractions for a layer change but they'll come apart pretty easily but if this was an entire sword you can imagine that they'd be pretty difficult to separate. And you can see this weird pock marks that I get from not having it on. Versus uh, the test print with close and wipe turned on. 
Um, I still get some marks. But uh, they're not near as bad. And they're actually pretty smooth. They're just visually there. So you can see here what it looks like when I uh, don't turn Coast and Wipe on. Uh, on this sword I accidentally forgot to turn it on. And you can see it actually creates a void like I have Coast actually turned on too high. Uh, but that's not the case. Well, the sword's a little dirty because my son has been playing with it, but you can see that I get pretty good results uh, with Coast and Wipe turned on. So when printing in base mode, I had some people have issues with the blades not locking together. And uh, for example, I printed this one out in PLA with my standard uh, um, extrusion multiplier of uh, uh, 0.92% and everything works out just great um, but then when I went to PETG for this uh, red filament here uh, the blade actually can be pulled out of the other one uh, so since then I have switched um, or I have changed my extrusion multiplier to um, 0.96 which is you know a change of 4% and now it, it stays in and uh, I get a, you know, a distance that stays in there roughly just over an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter which is uh, pretty much ideal. So if you're having an issue with the blades not interlocking, I would suggest that you try adjusting your extrusion multiplier or incur your flow rate. I hope this video has helped those of you who have had issues printing these because they're really a lot of fun. So if you get yours to work, please tag me with a picture uh, on Instagram or Twitter. And until the next one, I'll see you later.